we have many other volume like here but you can delete this by using uh, the volume ID or volume name uh, so it is a better way to use volume name because you can control uh, which volume depend on which uh, container okay so now we can create a new container for MySQL MySQL is a relational database created by Oracle uh, previously we use uh, SAMPP or Linux Apache uh, PHP tool for accessing my, uh, MySQL but now you can use Docker we access the Docker in uh, the MySQL inside Docker so we search for my Docker image and this is official image official image is very important you must ensure that you use official image you sign in to your account by type sign in enter your name or password and access to Docker Hub inside Docker Hub we see a very good uh, type of tax name uh, for example uh, this is the latest version the latest version here docker pool mysql but you can use a specific uh, version in this link now uh, we will want to uh, run or create a new container from the existing image you can use this common E mean environment variable environment variable uh, including MySQL root password the name the container name and the image the image uh, semicolon and uh, version or tax 8.0.28 okay so we have various uh, version or tax here you can specify as a tag uh, we can use in your project so in in this case I use uh, 8.0.28 so we map the port uh, we have the port 3306 in container and the port in your host uh, maybe 33.8 it's a port in your host. You can specify another blind port. Uh, does B mean publish or port? So you copy this code line, copy and uh, switch to uh, my SQL volume. Uh, to map the volume, the volume inside the container is the slash var slash lib slash my SQL and the volume inside the uh, host are no clear uh, CIS in Windows clear is in Mac OS or Linux so CIS copy this code line paste here and press enter uh, because it does not find any image MySQL here so it download from the uh, docker repository by uh, downloading layer by layer we have a multiple layer to build uh, an official image of MySQL so docker ps does a to see every container inside your PC then docker ps to see only running container and we have a MySQL 8 uh, dash container yeah this is MySQL the name so we can see the log by docker log and you can see the ready for connection it means that the container has started successfully in port 3306 in container and 3308 in your host okay so how to connect uh, we can connect by using this common line mysql uh, protocol tcp host uh, is my local host the port is 
3308 uh, user is root user and p mean password after pressing enter you can see how to enter your password so press enter enter your password and copy this password here paste here okay uh, so this code uh, because your MySQL, my my SQL in uh, your PC has a different version of the version inside the container. So you can also execute uh, interactive mode to the MySQL add container and run the bash shell inside this container. So you can interact with the bash shell. Uh, Linux bash shell inside this container so enter this okay so we can see the terminal command line you can type so database now you can connect to the to MySQL using uh, MySQL dash user root dash p mean password and paste your password to here Okay, paste your password. Access deny what? You can also use this command line to uh, access. Yes, okay, kind of connect with what? MySQL slash u user root slash p enter your password to here. Copy this password, paste this password to here. Okay, so this is the user password command line and this is a uh, detailed database so you can also uh, create database you can uh, create table you can create insert data into the table so first line use database some default database here and you copy this code create database okay and yeah uh, we sit switch to this database we create a table name tbl student with three field but in mysql entity not available so you can use primary uh, auto increment copy this code line paste here so our primary key copy this and paste here okay and we insert one record into this enter yes and select star from tbl student okay so we have one record okay exit and exit command line uh, of the container so copy this uh, you can see the volume is here the volume contain the database contain yes mysql db dash volume it is uh, the folder where to store the database the mysql database you can also see here by docker volume rs okay it is my volume on my folder we contain my sql so in mac os uh, the command is the same but replace it with uh, slash slash and here slash so you copy this and run inside your mac os command line the same with linux linux and mac os uh, clear paste okay so docker pool uh, the my MySQL database for the first time and pull layer by layer extracting layer okay so the return here is uh, container ID of the latest uh, MySQL so docker ps to see uh, the running container so here my SQL 8 container you can go inside the bash shell of container by using ex execute interactive mode and copy this to here 
and we see the common line and I copy and paste the connect uh, the uh, we will make the connection and paste the password here and so the database now so the database okay we see some of the database yes you can create the database uh, yes you can use database okay good and uh, is it the, the same as with uh, windows so docker volume list okay we have two volume the volume for this container here so in windows we have this folder in mac os we have this folder these folders are important when you want to uh, copy the database and save the database to a separate or to a secure hard drive so now we can add more multiple containers uh, so we define the network in this case we use a to do app network so many containers can have the same network yes okay so we create another container we clear and docker ps dash a to see all okay so um, it means you must restart the docker here some something wrong with my docker you must restart the docker okay docker ps okay so we have my sql container we is stopping so we remove my docker remove force my sql container okay so only one container yes refresh and you can see the container so docker volume list we we still have the mysql 8 volume you can delete this volume by docker room volume remove force and uh, with volume name the volume is in use so you can delete this by stopping uh, every container and then delete 